In this video, I'm going to simplify decimal reduction time, aka D value. Do you remember when Bahubali's army threw a huge cloth that was, I think, dipped in oil and then he fires an arrow and then the huge cloth is in fire? Just show the scene. So in that specific scene, Bahubali used the principle of fire, the principle of heat to destroy the army. The same principle is used in the food industry. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, we use the principle of heat to destroy microorganisms. Microorganisms don't like heat. Whenever they see heat, they're like, ah. Whenever we supply heat, whenever we apply heat to the microorganisms, they are destroyed and we want to destroy microorganisms. Heat has been used as a traditional medium as a traditional agent in the food industry and not just in food industry heat is used in our kitchens as well whenever we are uh, boiling milk whenever we are cooking food we are actually applying heat to the food not just it makes our food digestible palatable but it also makes the food free of microorganisms that could potentially harm us so that is why heat is used as a sterilizing agent in the food industry and this is one of the a uh, core principle, one of the most important concepts that is applied almost everywhere in the food industry. So it is important to understand some intricacies and peculiarities and concepts related with the heat, right? So there are some factors, there are some parameters uh, which are used to measure the effectiveness of heat as a sterilizing agent. And these parameters are D, Z and F value. Or should I say D, F and Z value because we are going to make videos in that order. <laughs> so now that we know the parameters that are used to measure the effectiveness of a heat treatment method, we also need to know what are the factors that affect the heat processing, the heat treatment method itself. And these factors are type of organism, initial bacterial load, temperature, time of treatment, medium and pH. Now, as I already told you that exposure of heat will kill microorganisms. They don't like heat. They are destroyed with the application of heat. So there is a correlation between the population of microorganism and the time of exposure of heat. So whenever we are increasing the time of exposure of heat, the number of microorganisms, the population of microorganisms that decreases. So let us uh, put this correlation, this concept on a graph. Let us put time on X axis and microbial population on y-axis. This microbial population is basically the number of surviving spores in the experiment. This can also be denoted in terms of log. Now, if we keep the temperature constant, the microbial population will decrease with time linearly. So there will be a straight line going downwards, denoting the reduction of microbes and increment in time. From this graph, we can point out that after 10 minutes of exposure, the population was 10 raised to the power 5. And after continuous exposure, when the population was checked after 15 minutes, the population came down to 10 raised to the power 4. Now the time in which microbial population is reduced by one log is known as D value. D value is also defined as the time required for 90% reduction of a given population. So, in other words, the time required to reduce the number of microbes by one log is known as D value. It is also known as the 90% the time required to reduce the population by 90%. So basically, D value is a unit of time. Remember that D value is the unit of time. Note that the temperature that we apply during the experiment it should be constant throughout. You cannot be like, oh, I am now giving 100 degrees Celsius, now it's 80 degrees Celsius. If you are applying 120 degrees Celsius, it should be 120 degrees Celsius throughout the experiment whenever you are measuring D value. Another interesting point over here is that lesser the D value, 
more effective will be the sterilization because that indicates that the bacteria or any specific microorganism is being destroyed in a very short amount of time. For example, to reduce the microbial load by one log, time required is one hour, which means bacteria are dying at a slower rate. However, if the time required for one log is five minutes, then bacteria are dying at faster rate and therefore this is more effective. Also, D-value will be different for different types of bacteria. You cannot say that I found a D-value for Clostridium botulinum and that will apply to every bacteria, every microorganism. That is not true. Every microorganism or every strain of bacteria will have a different D-value. There are some factors on which the D-value will depend and these factors are type of microbes. Small microbes will die faster in comparison to larger microbes. Composition of microbes. The D-value will also depend on the shape of bacteria and if bacteria have capsule. Surface. D-value will depend on the surface on which this operation is done. And finally, the temperature. Higher the temperature, more will be the effectiveness. Also, D-value is a prerequisite for F and Z values. And if you want us to make a video on F and Z value, let us know down in the comments. And if we don't get more than 10,000 comments asking for F value and Z value, we, we are shutting down this. I mean, what's the point of running this channel if, if it doesn't get views, right? So, <laughs> so jokes apart, it's a very long wire. So jokes apart, if you want us to make a video on F and Z value, let us know down in the comments. Uh, share this video with your batchmates, please. And subscribe if you have not already. I have seen that almost 69, 70% people, 70% 70 of the viewers have not subscribed to the channel. I mean, come on, this is free. Hitting the subscribe button is free. Come on, just hit that subscribe button. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 31st December, 2020. I'll see you next time. Class dismissed.